The following program contains questionable language that may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm not gonna get to this game again, sorry, right now, but uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And ass. These are words that we hear or even use every single day. They are huge parts of our culture. So why don't you get uncomfortable whenever I said them? Well, they're profanity. So who decided these words are bad? Well, I'm gonna provide a little bit of insight on to like the origins of these words and why you shouldn't use them. But it's not a persuasive speech, so I'm also gonna provide a little bit of a reason why you shouldn't swear. So welcome to my speech on profanity. <laughs> so we're gonna be looking at the origins of a few different words. The word shit, for example, actually comes from the English word shite, and it directly translates to dumb. Uh, its first reference was in 1508, and it described an, an, an obnoxious person, uh, commonly used in the phrase, you little shit. Obviously, Shakespeare was a very frequent user of the word shit, appar- uh, according to people that were close to him. So we have shit throughout history. Obviously, 1508, it was an obnoxious person. 1920s, the economy was good. They didn't give a shit. The 30s, obviously, Great Depression. One could say they were up shit's creek. Uh, the 60s, they were shit-faced, and the 80s, it was same shit, different day. So, a little bit, going off the word shit, we have the word bullshit, which actually does not mean bull poop, like I am sure a lot of y'all probably assumed. It actually comes from the uh, word bolle, which means deception or trickery. So when you combine that with the word shit, it means to like call someone out on their bullshit. <laughs> So now we have this one. I was kind of, I wasn't going to use this one because I feel like a lot of people are offended by this, but it's actually only the third most vulgar word in according to a 2007 English survey. Uh, it's behind its close relative, the MF word, which we'll get to in a second, and the C word, which apparently is really bad. I'm not going to say it. But um, it's kind of hard to trace back because it was banned in a lot of early writings. Although uh, scholars are like 90% sure it comes from one of those two languages, the Dutch word falken, which means to breed, and the Swedish word fuck, which has a more fallible meaning, as you can see. Um, although it was banned in a lot of early writings, it was first added to a dictionary in 1966, officially making it a word in the English language. Um, and then obviously, it was only added in 1966, but it was used well before this, obviously. 1960, fuck up. 1929, fuck off. And 1960, fuck off, which I don't know what that means, but it's in the 1960s. So now we have the aforementioned MF word, um, and this actually has an uh, interesting background. So it actually doesn't have a linguistic background like a lot of other words do. It stems directly from an 1889 Texas court case where the witness, um, yeah, y'all can read it, a GDMFing bastardly son of a bitch was what he said to the defendant in the court trial. And that's where the word came from. Now this word didn't really take off in popularity <laughs> until about the World War II era. And it was really helped uh, by Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five, which was a movie where they had a character who used the word in pretty much every other sentence. So just briefly, we're gonna touch on a few other common words. We have the word crap, which comes from the French word crape, which means uh, like corn husk that were thrown out during production. And it basically was meant to describe someone who was like unwanted in society. The word damn comes from the Latin word damned, which means uh, to like banish someone specifically to hell when used in a religious setting. And then the word as, uh, actually a combination of two words, the English word arse, which means the buttocks, and then the Latin word asinus, which means donkey. So, as I mentioned, there are positives to swearing. We've all stubbed our toe, slammed our finger in a car door or whatnot, and we've probably exclaimed an expletive, right? So, why does this happen? So, some, uh, some uh, uh, researchers in Oxford in England actually had the same hypothesis they thought that it caused an emotional distraction from the distraction from the actual pain. So what they did, they uh, did an experiment. Oh, yeah, they did an experiment, 102 male and female participants, and basically what they did, they did three trials with, with uh, each person. They would dip their hands in freezing cold water for as long as they could and did three trials. The first trial, they were allowed to say the F word. The second trial, they were allowed to say a made up word, which, which I believe in this case was a twist pipe. The third trial was like a base trial. They were not allowed to say anything. And so what they found, oh, and they, they recorded uh, pain perception, pain tolerance, and emotional reading, along with a few other things that are as important. And what they found was that the real curse word, the F word, actually uh, elicited both a pain tolerance increase and a emotional rating increase. 
While these fake swear words actually only uh, increased the emotional rating, had no effect on pain. So what this means is that there is no correlation between emotional rating and pain, so the original hypothesis was actually incorrect. So that left them wondering, why do you feel better whenever you swear? So they dove they a little bit deeper into it, and they actually found that there is a chemical reaction in your brain whenever you swear, and not only does it distract the part of your brain that registers physical sensation, but also um, activates the part of your brain that releases natural opioids and natural endorphins. So by swearing, not only do you get to uh, sense that you don't feel as much pain, you actually physically feel less pain. So, oh, I didn't have the last slide. So, that's my speech. Hope you all weren't too offended by it. I thank you for y'all's time. Hey, a quick question.